just as K-pop has taken the world by storm, Korean skincare has also made a significant impact. So what if I told you that you can achieve beautiful skin with a remarkable Korean brand? Watch as I share my favorite skincare products from Hamish in the Hamish series. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I hope that everyone is doing good. And in today's video, we will talk about the Bulgarian Rose Satin Cream from Hamish. And this is part 3 of my favorite products from Hamish in the Hamish series that I've shared with you guys. And for part 1 and 2, go to my channel to watch it. So in today's video, I will teach you that how you can use this amazing Bulgarian rose setting cream and explore its benefits and we will know a lot about the Bulgarian roses in general <laughs> so keep on watching this video till the end and without further ado let's get started <laughs> So what is Bulgarian Rose and why it is so rare? For that, we have to go on a virtual tour to a special place called the Valley of Roses in Bulgaria, which is located just south of the Balkan Mountains in a region called Kedalek. Sounds cool, right? But why it's called the Valley of Roses? Simple, because it's full of roses and roses and roses, <laughs> but not any normal kind of roses. It contains the unique Rosa Demacena. Or the oil bearing roses. Oil bearing rose, what's so special about the oil bearing rose? Well, it's rare and it's native to Bulgaria. That means that you can find it more in Bulgaria than anywhere else in the world. And the fragrance of the Bulgarian uh, oil bearing rose is described as a mix between uh, fresh rose petals and yummy honey. Not so yummy for me. <laughs> And the Bulgarian roses have a very calming and relaxing effect on the human mind and human body. And it has the quality to boost your mood instantly. I so much want to go to the rose valley of roses and smell the fragrance of the roses now. Oh. So the Bulgarian rose or Rosa de Messina has a very fascinating history. So let me share it with you guys. It happened so in the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Turks brought these roses all the way from Damascus, a place in Syria, and that's why the rose name is Rosa de Messina. De Messina means inhabitants or people of Damascus. <laughs> Got it? It is believed that in 1593, Murad III, the grandson of Suleiman the Magnificent, ordered the cultivation of the Rosa de Messina in the fertile lands of Bulgaria. So, Quickly, the cultivation began in Kazanlak, the most fertile region, one of the most fertile region in Bulgaria. And now the place is famous for roses all over the world. Fast forward to the 19th century, farmers in Bulgaria focused on growing the roses for another purpose. The Bulgarian rose oil, which is now used in cosmetics, fragrances, personal care. Due to the superior quality of the Bulgarian rose oil and its great uh, fragrance, deep floral, sweet fragrance, it was an instant hit. Even today, Bulgaria is one of the top countries when it comes to making a rose oil. The cultivation of the Damascus roses is a very important and integral part of the Bulgarian culture. It's something that they are really proud of. So why the Bulgarian rose oil or the Bulgarian roses are used in skin care? Number one, because of its nourishing qualities, the Bulgarian rose oil is filled with vitamins and minerals that gives us a very hydrated, smooth skin. Number two, it has antioxidants in it. That means it fights off the free radicals that age us and promotes a very youthful looking skin. Number three, that it makes our skin very even 
and toned. And number four is that it's great for oily and acne prone skin. Yeah, I know you have been waiting for this one because it actually absorbs the excess oil and sebum from the face. How great is that? One cream to fight off everything. <laughs> Before I tell you my experience of the Bulgarian Rose uh, Satin Cream, I want to inform you through this video that Hamish has full range of Bulgarian Rose, which includes uh, sunscreen, eye patch, serum, and this cream. <laughs> so I'm going to just link it down all in the description box below. Let's move on to Aisha's experience. So here goes my experience with the Hamish Bulgarian Rose Satin Cream. Well, this cream is not just any moisturizing cream, but it is also a makeup primer or the makeup base because it is, makes the makeup stay put on our face for a longer period of time. And if you are someone who struggles with excess of sweating or lives in a humid climate, then you know what I'm talking about because as soon as we are done with the makeup, it starts to build on our face. So we need lots and lots of makeup setting sprays or makeup primers to make the makeup last and not to see our effort go to waste. So when I got to know that you know this is a primer, I wanted to get it. But then I also read about that it has AHA in it and AHA is a uh, it is an ingredient that's known for the brightening and glowing effect on the face because it increases the cell turnover on our skin and reveals a glowing smooth skin so it's a two-in-one cream right it's like a skincare superhero with a makeup primer sidekick so that's the reason i wanted to wanted to get my hands on it and again most important reason for me is that I love anything with the rose. I am a rose fragrance addict. I think I have got a lot of Arab taste in, in me when it comes to fragrance. So when I got to know that it has rose fragrance in it, I made my mind instantly that I want to get my hands on it. Let's look at the packaging of the cream. The product comes in the cutest little box. It's simple but oh so adorable and guess what color it is? Pink! It's like they designed it to resemble a beautiful rose. How sweet is that? So how to use this cream as a beginner? <laughs> well, you should always patch test it. Okay, use a teeny tiny amount. Patch test it over here or patch test it over here to see if you are having any reactions to the cream or not. Oh my god, the fragrance, oh my goodness, I can just smell it. <laughs> it just makes me so like a peacock. The fragrance is so great, amazing. So you must be wondering that Aisha, is there any precautions to take while using the Bulgarian Rose Satin Cream? Well, yes, one. Uh, that is to use sunscreen before using this cream as a makeup primer during the day because it has got AHA in it and also limit your sun exposure and always be mindful of using a sunscreen because of AHA which actually peels off the outer layer of the skin. I don't know why Hamish has not mentioned this but I think it should be mentioned but no worries, I'm telling you now, <laughs> so take care of that. And oh yeah, one thing I forgot to tell you that you should avoid using it with any retinol based cream or serum because AHA and retinol together are known to cause irritation on the face. So just avoid it, do not get any irritation or pimples on the face. To wrap up, Bulgarian Rose Set and Cream is truly an exceptional multi-purpose cream. You can use it as a moisturizer, you can use it as a makeup base, and good thing about it, it comes in a big jar. Okay, sorry. It comes in a big jar like that. That means it can easily last for like about five to seven months even if i use it daily yeah right that even if i use it daily so it has good 
I mean, it's a very cost-effective product. It has good value for money. And again, I would like to mention the thing that I love in it is the captivating rose scent. Wow, the captivating rose scent is so great that it eliminates the need to buy any perfume. <laughs> you can cut back on unnecessary purchases and save your money, right? <laughs> yeah, so overall, great cream. You should give it a try, and I'm sure you're gonna fall in love with it. <laughs> this brings us to the end of our video, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. And if you wanna dive deeper and discover more amazing content, go to my website, aishabox.com. Until you meet again, take care of yourself. Love you guys, and ciao.